So I'm going to start with you, Gavin. Yeah. This film has got so many different layers to it and, and themes to it. Can you, how would you describe the story to someone who hasn't seen it yet? God, it's a, it's a difficult film to, to describe. And for, I, the, the movie for me was, it was about a father who wouldn't let the world set expectations on his son. So that was sort of the, you know, the doorway into the film for me. And, but I, in regard to genre, I would describe it as a thriller. I would describe it as an action film. I would describe it as a puzzle movie. I would describe it as a character study. And I think intertwined within all that and the fabric of the film is it's a, it's a, it's a fun ride and to expect the unexpected. There's some great action scenes in there. And can you talk about this special form of martial arts that you felt was important to use for Ben's character? Well, there was, I mean, I was trying to find something specific for, for Christian Wolf, and, and um, I, I met with my, my fight coordinators, and we started doing research like, globally, all the different martial arts, forms of martial arts, and disciplines of martial arts across the world. And um, Fernando, one of the guys I work with, uh, had, had found this uh, Pentox a lot, and it was bringing me things, and that was the one that I just really gravitated toward for a number of reasons. I, 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 the more I looked at it, the more I found it to be it had a lot. It was very cinematic. It was flashy, but it was also had the it had the potential. If you if you executed it correctly, be very efficient. And in my mind, I just all the action. I wanted I wanted Christopher to be really efficient in how he did things because I, because of his super mathematical brain, I just felt like he would handle things as mathematically as possible, which be would be as fast as possible. So that's how we came across that style of fighting, and then it was injecting that into the action of the movie. Was there a lot of physical prep for you for that? A lot of rehearsal, a lot of training, and, and that was fun. That was I got a chance to do, you know, some sort of, you know, one of the nice things about being an actor is you get exposed to all sorts of things that you wouldn't be in, of course, your normal life. And this was one of them. We got to work with some exceptional fighters and, and exceptional martial artists and people who could do really impressive things and uh, physically and train with them and learn from them, and that was a gift. Yeah, it came off really well. Can we let's talk about the overall cast and that you've got this incredible abundance of talent. Can you can you talk about everyone this except Simmons? <laughs> Why does Simmons let us down in this movie? I don't know. Just it just doesn't work. His performance. He's a nice guy, hell of a guy. Just it's just no good. But other than J.K. Simmons, everyone in the movie is really good, and I'm really. Uh, He's gonna love that. You have any comment on that? <laughs> no, he's awesome. We had a great cast. It was an incredible, amazing cast of people. Just the kind of actors that make you better. J.K. Simmons is no one better than him. Anna Kendrick was so remarkable uh, in her role and so gifted and sharp and funny and quick. And, you know, John Lithgow is a legend. He's been around forever. He's done amazing. Even going back to the world according to Garp. Um, so it was an honor for me to be working with these, these people. Mm -hmm. And Tambor. Which and Jeffrey, you know, he, he, he like he makes his more. He's 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 in maybe five minutes of the film, and it's like he just has a huge footprint. In he's it. so good, and so he he was actually like so funny as a guy that it made it hard for me to keep a straight face. Yeah. He's hysterical, <laughs> yeah, hysterically funny guy. And that shifted the sort of the rhythms of the film. There's so many layers to it, but uh, Tambor and then Cynthia, who I don't even know. I mean, I know she's done television. I'm not even sure if she. What, what movie she's ever done, but that was the one role I was looking for someone that was sort of an unknown, make a discovery. I had such great, talented actors that, that audiences are familiar with, and I thought it'd be fun to, for the, the person that is sort of the key in the ignition of the movie in regard to who is hunting for Christian Wolf. I thought it'd be interesting if you had someone that the audience didn't have a memory of for many other roles. So um, we met, I met a lot of girls that auditioned for that part, and Cynthia was... Just, she, she had all the, the qualities I was looking for for, 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 for uh, Mary Beth. Yeah, it was really great. And you're a director as well as an actor, so is how does it work with the dynamic? Like, how did it work going in with you being the director and you've had that role before? Is it hard to... I, know, I mean, I've been a lot, acted in a lot more movies than I've directed. Right. I'm very accustomed to the role of an actor, and I understand that the way that works best is as an actor is you fulfill a director's vision. And the director is running the whole ship and making all these choices about where direction the story is going. And, you know, you're in the narrow lane of your own performance. And it's, uh, for me, the, 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 the best thing to do is just find a great director, which I did in this case. And then the second best thing to do is follow their lead. You know, go with where they're taking the movie and, and then try to find out how you can contribute to that story. Um, and, and that's what I tried to do, you know. Right. And lastly, 
what what do you feel audiences are in store for when they see this film? I think they're in store for a, a, a fun ride. I think they're in store for a lot of surprises and as I said, expect the unexpected and great performances. And, um, and I think a relatability in regard to anyone who's a parent and as a child.